Hi guys, today I'll be showing you how to make this marmalade jar in Google Drawing. So I started off with a new file. Then, to create the background, I'm using a square from the shapes icon to drag over my canvas. I'm also using a bucket icon to choose the colour to fill up my background. To start off your marmalade jar, I'm choosing a rounded rectangle. When filling up your shape, you can customise your colour by selecting the custom option. To create the shadow on the jar, I copy and pasted the shape and then filled it in with a darker shade of orange. I'm also keeping in mind to get rid of the border by making the borders transparent on each shape I make. I'm using various shapes to create the lid of the jar and the label. I'm also constantly resizing and adjusting the colour to make sure it's matching my reference image. I'm using the curve tool which can be found under the line tool to create the shape of the leaves. I also use this for the stem. To add texture to the fruit, I used the circle shape which I copy and pasted multiple times and readjusted them at different sizes and angle. To create a hand drawn look on the lid of the jar, I used the curve tool to create the long shape to define the lid. To add texture to the lid, I also copied this shape and pasted it, readjusting each one so they line up vertically. Now it's time to add the text to the label. I'm using the curve tool to create each letter and the negative spaces of the A, R and D are also created by creating separate shapes. Then I'm applying each shape onto the label and readjusting the sizes and angles, making sure they are all the same size and look the same font. When I saved this as a JPEG, it came out a bit blurry, so make sure you save this as a PDF as it has a higher resolution. And there you have it, your very own marmalade jar in the style of Naomi Wilkinson, all done with Google Drawing. Thank you so much for following this tutorial. Until next time, see ya!